So guys, so I'm here with Callan and we're going to be talking about sociology today. So do you have any idea what sociology is? No. No? Okay, so. Not a clue. Sociology is a discipline for curious minds. Uh, sociology takes you on a journey to understand and generate new knowledge about human behavior, social relations, and social institutions. So I'm really like not exactly sure like what sociology is yet because you know like this is like on like the first second week of school. But I think what it is is like it basically like it studies like how people like interact with one another, like different like different cultures, different types of people. And yeah, so I'm gonna read to you a little bit more. Do you have any idea what the term social embeddedness means? No. No? Okay. So social embeddedness is the idea that economic, political, and other forms of human behavior are fundamentally shaped by social relations. Um, so I'm gonna tell you like basically like what sociologists do. Uh, sociologists pursue studies on a wide range of issues. Um, for example, like family issues, community issues, like state issues, and nationwide issues around the world. Um, yeah, so a little bit more about sociology. It's a social science that studies human societies, like I said earlier, their interactions and the processes that preserve and change them. It does this by examining the dynamics of like different parts of societies. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about uh, a famous sociologist named Emil Durkheim. Have you ever heard of him? No. Okay, so Emil Durkheim, is, he's a French sociologist and he was born April 15, 1858, and died November 15, 1970, in Paris, France. <laughs> um, so a little bit about Emil. He taught philosophy at like various institutions, and he became a professor, a professor <laughs> of social science. Um, yeah, so he's like really famous, like he's really a well-known sociologist because he's like one of like the main people that um, like distinguish sociology from like philosophy and psychology and stuff like that. So I'm gonna tell you, so like from what I've told you so far, like what do you like think about sociology? Like if you had to like define it, like what would you like say about sociology? It's like the connections between people. Yeah, okay, that's good. Competitive. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Emil Durkheim, he wrote like a lot of different um, books and he was very like involved in the social sciences. Like I said earlier, he was one of the founding figures of psych or sociology. Um, and he's like very influential in the field. Um, How many books did he write? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have no idea, but I'm That's still right. I'm still learning. So yeah, you'll come back to me next yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. So um, he was like very, um, from what I know, he was very. Um, persistent on trying to like get sociology to become like its own academic discipline um, because at first like they were like so or sociology was combined with like um, philosophy and like psychology and he was very like adamant about making sociology become its own like academic course what's the difference between the three that is a good question <laughs> <laughs> that I'm yet to, you know, learn yet, but I'm sure I'll learn that throughout the course. Question for another day? Yeah, definitely. Gotcha. Um, so, in class, we also learned a little bit about <laughs> suicide. <laughs> so, we learned that um, people that are, like, alone are, like, more likely to kill themselves. <laughs> it's not funny but <laughs> horrible topic um, but yeah no so we learned like that people that have things in common are um, 
like connected so that the people that like so for example like uh protestant people were more likely to kill themselves because they were kind of alone like single people and then people that are unmarried also have like higher rates of suicide cut the video <laughs>